Big or small? These grade seven boys are picking the ammunition they need for their contraption designed to squash the competition. It is a trebuchet, or if you'd like it simplified, a powerful and accurate catapult designed to hurl pumpkins to a splattering end. Was that your goal, boys, to build the biggest one? Yeah, and hopefully it makes it go the farthest. The catapult idea comes from a long-standing annual assignment for students at Wortley Road Public School. Casper DePerawa and Connor Schwartz grew up watching senior students build cattle poles. But now that it's their turn, they're out to break the record. After being handed the assignment, they went to Connor's dad, Dave. Connor came home and said, hey, let's build a catapult. And I smiled and we started. Following a design created by the boys, the trio took three weeks to build their custom pumpkin chucker. Throughout the project, the boys have followed science. Kind of learning about like getting hands on and um, well, geometry, weight, physics, and all this other stuff. If we can get them in, interested in physics early on, then those that carries on through their whole high school career. As will the memory of what they've built here. It's pretty exciting when you're launching a 10 pound pumpkin hundreds of feet. But as often happens in science, things can go awry. And in this case, not even a pumpkin patch could help. Despite having plenty of pumpkins to launch, it just wasn't the boys' day. While it appears the catapult worked just fine, the pumpkin went sideways. Worse, the winch cable snapped, forcing an early end to the day. Things don't work out. It's trial and error. But because we all want to see a pumpkin fly, here's a look at some earlier attempts captured by a cell phone. <laughs> Next up for this crew is the afternoon competition at school. We've got a lot more pumpkins to launch and smash, so uh, Thursday will be the day. But should somehow things again go sideways, they take solace in knowing there is always a consolation prize after a food fight. Do either of you like pumpkin pie? It's my favorite pie. It's your favorite? Well, you're going to have a little bit of leftovers. In London, Sean Irvin, CTV News.